Okay, surprise, surprise. Susan Garbick is traveling. So I today am Susan Garbick, the ultimate power, the ultimate power in the universe. Everyone is in the breakout rooms deciding their names and they should be back within less than two minutes. So you can just fast forward through this part, people, all the thousands and tens of thousands, and perhaps hundreds of thousands of people, dare I say millions who are watching this on YouTube in the future, because we're not live streaming it. So you can't be watching it now. Well, you could be watching it now in your time now, but not in now my time now. It's very confusing. Ooh. What's the over under on Vincent telling us we're recording? <laughs> One minute. Uh, we're being recorded. Watch out. Are we? we Must we be? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> captions are on, even though if I show captions, I don't see anything. Who oh, can see it's... this transcript? Recording on. So we transcript uh, of this meeting may be saved and shared with the apps and others by participants. Yeah. So do we need permissions? Right. That's fine. Do we need to take a poll, uh, Rob, to see how many people heard your broadcast? Yes. Did everyone hear me making what I call the broadcast while uh, my voice not in text chat while you yes. were in the Yeah, we voice? heard your megalomania maniacal broadcast. <laughs> could, could you hear us though responding? No. No, because uh, I was saying yes, we can hear you. Well, did it? Did it? So my on my end, it popped up a control that that is a new thing on Zoom, as far as I know, because I didn't do anything. It just popped up and said, "By the way, you can broadcast your voice to all breakout rooms by doing this." Did you oh, see no. anything like that pop up? Oh, I didn't. See. No, not no. ours. No, okay, so you, you can't go reverse. It, it's just, yeah, it's just for from the main host. room. And I have to tell you, my first thought was, "Oh, there is a guy." <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a ghost. <laughs> God, God can speak to us. We just can't talk back. Yes. That's <laughs> Aaron, did perfect. You hear it? That's kind of reverse. That's good, Eric. Yeah, it's good. it is kind of reverse. Yeah. Like that. Like we, we could talk back, but our our voice was just going into nowhere and not. That's true. Nowhere. What, like Yay, though he said, "Yakety yak, yak, don't talk us back." <laughs> <laughs> our our response oh, is wow. like prayer. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> My prediction is that Susan is going to oh, love that new setting. <laughs> She's going to use it all. Oh, oh. oh, oh no! Don't tell her. She'll just well, keep the broadcast. It's going to pop. I'm sure it'll tell her. I don't think there's anything I can do to that she doesn't find out. Well, you're <laughs> you're going to be calling Zoom, so the, now you've got two things. No. <laughs> well, she'll hear it when she hears the recording of this one. All righty. So we all have our team names, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Except, uh, let's see, Caspian is not here. This is a little worrisome, but he's not until round three. So hopefully he knows. Otherwise, somebody from team three might have to be pulled at random to try to get a category out of the blue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. So uh, as uh, we are oft, often do, uh, or maybe all the time, say this is game number 136. If these uh, numbers are correct on the screen here, season three, episode 27 of Susan's Social Trivia. And uh, tonight we have, let's see, what are the team names? Team one, please. We love our group. Please redo it. <laughs> Rob. Yeah, that's Rob. <laughs> Rob, please redo it. Are you putting, somebody putting it in the chat? So I don't I have can to type put it. In it? The chat. <laughs> and how I'll about where uh where jim and adrian and i are wow wow 
Minus 22. Celsius. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say that, but. Well, it really scares the Americans when we use Celsius. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, okay, it was so warm out. It was 20 degrees. They're like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Team two Jamie, Gail, Jane, Peggy, and Vincent. Oh. Hey, the, uh, Trump, Kanye, uh, and Nick joke during dinner. It was hilarious. Oh. Hit, Hitler. <laughs> Hitlerian. Hitlerian. I'm muting you, Robin. Uh, <laughs> team three is Caspian, who's not here yet. Cindy, Janine, Jim, Kyle, and Ron. What is your team name going forward? Kanye, whole trivia team. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, no. Team number four. I like that. That's going. Let's go. Kevin, Carl, Karen, and Mike. There is no sanity clause. Ooh, okay. Ooh there we go. Uh, that's a good one. I like it. And yes. the best team, the one with Rob, Nay, Susan on it, and Alan, and Ben, and Brandy, and Carolyn, who are we? <clears throat> Uh, Rob is drunk with power. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one there. That's a good one. Um, now there is no sanity clause. Yeah. I saw that. I saw that used in one of the uh, Pogo comic strips. It was in the Pogo collections. I that my dad bought and I read. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. My dad so, loved Pogo. Let's yeah. see. Round one is Adrian. Are you all ready? I'm ready. You already have the powers. Oh, oh who am yes, I going to make the uh, the uh, master muter today? <laughs> who wants to do that? Let's see. Uh, Carl's not running anything. Carl, you want to do that? Sure. All right. Let me see. Master muter. That sounds naughty. Yeah. That sounds <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Hey, I always prefer the term mutator. <laughs> the I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll be back in a few minutes. The, the prime mutable. muter. <laughs> All right, Adrian, what is category number one? Category number one, I came up with because I have never done anything where Susan can do really well on, you know, a topic. So I chose a topic that Susan <laughs> would do well with. <laughs> And, and she's, she's not, not here. here. You still can't win. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, Rob slash Susan. Uh, I hope you have a good memory because it is Sarah Winchester and the Winchester Mystery House. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, hopefully okay. you'll learn something because. Uh, oh, yeah. And that's my background. I'm taking a, you know, Rob always does that. And All other. right. Is that it? Is that it? it? That is it. That's yeah. All right. So the only things thing. I know about the Winchester Mystery House are what I heard on the uh, Skeptoid podcast. Well, you, you might do better. You might do okay. With Probably some do of better that. than average then. Okay, <laughs> Carl. Yeah. Well, no, I, three, I listened two. to it. I, ha I can't remember any. I don't retain things, so I don't remember any of it. <laughs> but I read, I also read your wiki page. I did too. It was very yeah. good. Everything. Thank you. <laughs> it will help. All right. All right. Continuing down, down. One mute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For question number one, they're going to be pretty fast, most of them. Sarah Winchester was named after her paternal grandmother, but she was not commonly called Sarah. What first name was she called throughout her life? Number two, Sarah and her husband, William, shared an interest in an occupation other than rifles and clothing, which is what they made their money off of. This interest came in handy after William died and she moved to California. However, this interest or hobby led many to believe she was mad. Wrongly, I must say. A common reason given as to why Sarah moved from the East Coast to California was that she had gone to a Boston medium named Adam Coons after William's death. The medium stated that she must move west and build a huge home to house all the ghosts that Winchester rifles had killed. 
and she must never stop building or she would die. But what was the real reason she moved west? And by the way, there's no evidence that a medium named Adam, Adam Coons ever lived in Boston at that time. And then the giveaway one for most of you who live by it. What city is the Winchester Mystery House located in? Number five, it is commonly claimed that Sarah inherited $20 million and earned $1,000 per day in royalties. I found this all over the place. And that's calculated as the, when she was living, not you know, calculated with inflation. So the real value of her inheritance for the period from 1881 to 1885, and I have those dates for a reason, uh, was, because her husband died in 1881. So this is just for the first few years after his death is a shares valued at 77,000 with dividends of 7,770, shares valued at 362,330 with dividends and so on and so forth. Do, do I need to read the whole thing? I think you got it. Okay, shaking hands. Well, up. for those playing along on the internet in future decades. Oh. <laughs> so you want me to read them all? Okay, yeah. so B was shares valued at $362,330 with dividends of $3,650 per year. C, shares valued at 770,700 with dividends of 77,700 per year. And D, shares valued at $3,623,300 with dividends of 36,500 per year. Phew, I got all those numbers right, I think. <clears throat> Number six. The legend that Sarah had people building her home 24 hours a day, seven days a week until her death when construction abruptly stopped is not true. In fact, construction for the most part stopped years before. What was the actual reason that she stopped construction? Not, it wasn't her death, in other words. So it was rumored that Sarah held the nightly seances in the blue room. Records show, actual records, show that the room was used for what purpose? And I want you to be somewhat specific. In other words, I don't want you to say like a bathroom. I want you to say it was Sarah's bathroom or a maid's bathroom or a powder room or an ensuite. You know, that's what I mean by not real specific, but just I just need something more than a one word answer, if that makes sense. And I'm going to be pretty lenient with these too. Because there's um, actually more than one answer for that. You say that now. Ah. <laughs> Number eight. Sarah was alleged to have turned away two U.S. presidents from visiting her home. And this was not true. Not, uh, and I didn't write this all out because um, I didn't think I needed to. But she never invited and they didn't ask to come to see her. So there's no evidence that these presidents were actually turned away from her. Name one of the presidents who visited the, the area. Oh, it looks like I cut off the sentence, but or forgot to write the rest of the sentence. Name one of the presidents who visited the area, but not her. I just messed up, missed out the her. All right, number nine. There were claims by local residents that ghostly music could often be heard coming from the house during the night. In fact, it wasn't ghosts. What was the real world, world cause of this music? Can we say poltergeist? Because those aren't ghosts, right? <laughs> it has to be real world, hence those. those <laughs> hmm. Unless you think poltergeists hmm. are real world and you have proof and evidence of it. It's five million ghost hunting shows on too. How could it not be? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Number 10, Sarah Winchester died in 1922. What year did her house become a tourist attraction? And no plus or minuses. And that's it. Any questions? Okay. 
I have to say, I listened to the episode, I read the article several times, and I don't know that I know any of these offhand. Not good. My memory. And Rob, you did that sucks. before with my Wikipedia category yeah. thing. <laughs> you have a memory like I do. Yeah. Unless, Adrian, unless... I have a question. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I have a question on the one about all the money that she inherited. Yes. Um, on the last one, shouldn't yes. it be three hundred thousand plus? Oh, did I miss a zero? I think you missed a digit of some kind. If, uh, if it looks like it was all going to be like ten percent earnings. Yeah. No, that was fine. So it's not the same level of earnings that all the right. other values got. Okay. Right. Sorry. Not a problem. Okay. Anything else? Awesome. Carl, send everybody to the rooms. I can do that. Oh, Kevin, you're not in the room. What room were you in? Oh, man. Kevin. Four. Okay. How'd you get out of your room? What happened there? I, my computer had to reboot. Oh, okay. Did you get the pop-up? To join room four? I would guess. You must have. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> Yeah, so, so I can't I, well, I can't do what Susan always does because I'm on a team so I have to go to my room oh you have to go to oh interesting yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna but, go to my room and see how they're doing oh let me let me test the thing about the broadcast again okay good luck everybody now oh, you no. couldn't hear that you couldn't hear that right so it only goes to the breakout rooms that's really yeah. interesting yeah, interesting well, because I can hear you, right? Just talking to me. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully those questions are okay and not too hard. <laughs> as long as you didn't say, which I'm glad. Oh, I know everyone's going to get all of these. <laughs> Susan should have gotten all of them. That All right. So <laughs> this will be interesting. I mean, you can send each one to her in a chat just to see if she knows. I should see if she uh, i'm going to send it to her and say this is what you missed susan i can't yeah. believe you weren't here because i did because she she was all over some of this stuff like this is what they tell us in in the in the tours i mean are you sure <laughs> she was doing that to me all the time <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go and yeah. see what my team's doing and i'll go see if i can help my team i doubt it but good luck
I like when he gives us two minutes. The, the assistant only gives you one. Yeah. That's, that's good. Two minutes gives you time to realize that you need to, to do things yeah. and have time to do it. Thanksgiving. How was your Thanksgiving, everybody? Nice. Fine. Mine was Excellent. good. Really fun. We made a turkey and had it on TV trays. Oh. <laughs> Vincent, you didn't have one the same day we did. No, no, did not. No, we have, we have ours a month or two ahead. I can't remember exactly when. It's in October sometime, as I recall. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. So I got everything cooked by Whole Foods and I just went and picked it up and it was really good. And it was so easy and I felt kind of guilty, but not very. Oh, why? Who cares? It was great. That's nice. Uh, this year for Christmas, my mom wants uh, Cornish game hens. So that's what we're going to have. Oh, that's good. Stuffed, yeah, stuffed hens. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I didn't push the button. Who pushed the button? I did. I did. No, I am Spartacus. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we were just saying that we like it that we have two minutes uh, instead of I, the usual short time. We yeah, like it. two minutes is way better. Yeah. 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 Uh, you, you had enough time, Susan, aka Rob? That's because Rob knows how to do that two minute thing. Susan doesn't. Well, and then you yeah. know what Carl did last week when, when he was had a category, he, he just broadcast a message that said one yeah. minute till the one minute warning yeah right <laughs> a workaround yeah, that, clever I, workaround. i just kind of figured that out rob because i went to all the rooms and everybody was kind of wrapping up and talking about parrots and things so i didn't uh, see you <laughs> pop into our room but, oh i did i talked i popped in <laughs> i'm just sneaky she's stealthy were, were we dumb she's people a ninja. she's a ninja did, did, yeah i mean are you okay with the time? Did, did we have one for everything i didn't even think we did yeah we did one. Okay. I want to know why Rob Gerbic isn't coming into the room where we're losing our host. You know, our I know. No, 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 because it can't be played that way because I'm on a team. I know you shouldn't have signed yourself to a team. You're a Gerbic today. <laughs> yeah, but he, he was signed to, to the team when Susan thought she was going to be here. He made so. the teams. Remember, we need him to remake. Oh, yeah. them. But you have to have doing around. <laughs> anyway. I'm just. I'm just being abusive toward Rob. That's all. It's awesome, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So well, yeah, if Rob has to be Susan, someone has to be Rob. <laughs> Ooh, that's impossible. <laughs> and then we just cascade right down the line. Who ends up at the bottom of the list? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hamilton. Hamilton does. <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I saw one group get this. I hope there's more than one. And mm -hmm. I don't care about spelling, but her name that she went by all her life was Sally. Yay. Oh, yeah. cool. And the next one is her husband and her shared a passion for architecture and interior oh. design. Oh. Oh. Is it say architecture? <laughs> architecture we love is that fine. one. Interior uh. design is fine as long as you got one of those two things. And it was really the architecture part that made her people think she was mad because it was very uncommon for a woman to run her own uh, building site, right? She was the architecture. She was the designer. She, that's why it was kind of strange sometimes. Uh, you know, she wouldn't be happy with something. So she'd ask them to tear it down because it didn't turn out the way she'd hoped. So, you know, she, she, she appeared kind of crazy because no sounds other like was doing that. <laughs> what was that? It sounds like my mother. That's <laughs> what owners of, 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 of projects do. They, oh, exactly. sh they show up and say, I don't like it, change it. Exactly. Especially when you have the money she had. I yeah. mean, she had a lot of money. And uh, yeah, so. She was a uh, job creator. She And she was. <laughs> she was a job creator. And uh, she kept people well employed, but just not 24-7. She gave them time off. In fact, when the World Fair came, she gave everybody that whole time when the World Fair was there. So they could, well, not the whole time, but like two weeks, I think she gave them or a week. And they all went and enjoyed the World Fair. All, all her staff. The Skeptoid episode talked about how 
that was part of what she, the reason she did it was to employ all those people during the impression. Yeah, that was part of it. But she also has a vision of this home to house all her family. But then her family came and then apparently she didn't really get along with them. So she just started <laughs> building and yep. saying, no, it's not so... done yet. <laughs> so there's a little bit of that, that too. Never happened. <laughs> All right, so the next one I'm going to be quite lenient with. I think most people got this. Uh, so the reason that she actually moved is she had really severe rheumatoid arthritis, and Arthur. the doctor suggested a warmer and drier climate might help improve her health. So as long as you said something about climate or health, mm -hmm. you're good. Weather, we said weather. Yeah. Weather's good. Yeah. Did we get that, Ben? Yeah, we we put climate. Yeah. Good job, team. We put TB, but. It was because of the warmer. Yeah, she didn't, have, she didn't have TB. I think that's what her husband had. Her husband died from TB and she had rheumatoid arthritis. So TB is a big X. Oh, oh I hate to say it on my team. Oh, it's a good answer. <laughs> well, we said drier air. Drier air for breathing yeah. problems. We, we did combine the whole TB they went for the drier air. Yeah, it is yeah. the drier so, air, for sure. The so, drier air. Was so we've there. got both. Yeah. We've got two parts there. One that isn't right, yeah. but the other part. Yeah, kind of I'm going to be as long as you put the drier air part. That I don't care if you got the disease wrong. As long as I mean, even if you if you just said bad health, like generally bad health, that would have been okay. I was ready, willing to take all of it. Adrian is so much nicer yeah. than some people doing that. <laughs> oh, you didn't put the number in Roman numerals. You put it in Arabic numerals. You don't get it. <laughs> Oh, I just you left you know, out the colon between the title yeah. and the number two. <laughs> yeah, spelling, forget about it. Like I said, Sally, you know, however you spelled it, as long as it was Sally. And this is so San Jose. Oh, we spelled Sally M A R Y. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so did we. we. Bad spelling, but we pronounced it. <laughs> no, 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 we, we, we spelled, spelled it Sally J A N E J A N E. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, I'm a bad speller, but not that bad. Okay. <laughs> I am. It's the, it's the Canadian, it's the Canadian spelling. That's there, right. there you go. There you go. A. Question A. four was San Jose. I think everybody got that. Hopefully they did. Yay. And the next one, a lot, I fooled a lot of people. I did a little math and I, but you know, I was asked about D. I thought that was very clever. You noticed the pattern changed and it was a little bit more realistic. Uh, percentage for nowadays for earnings and but it's actually a oh my gosh oh. And, oh. <laughs> yeah she That's got some good so returns on on her investment and she also was a very savvy investor so she did really well in fact she did manage all her finances herself especially as she later in life she, she took more and more on and uh b is sort of correct except for one thing the dividends were wrong because what and I, I put the years 1881 to 1885 for a reason because she inherited another three hundred thousand dollars worth of shares uh i think it was like 15 years later almost uh, i think it was uh nine, or 1898 or something like that that she inherited a bunch more from her mother-in-law when she died so oh, no. that number for b was actually correct but the dividend was wrong so Huh. A little bit tricky. So she wasn't getting ten dollars a day. No, uh, well, she wasn't getting a thousand dollars a day. That's for sure. Yeah. Nowhere near that. Uh, so her shares were only valued at seventy-seven thousand dollars. Yes. Remember back in that well, time. Well, back back in eighteen eighties, that's that's a lot more a money lot of than money. seventy-seven well, thousand today. Seven thousand seven hundred dollars a year that she's getting in dividends. That's a lot of money. But in those days, yeah. if you and then assume... of course she was. By the time the turn of the century happened, she was really wealthy when she got that three hundred thousand dollars. So number six, I think most of you got this. It was the nineteen oh six San Francisco earthquake, and it basically demolished the house. There was, and that's why there's a lot of stairs going up to nothing because the upper levels. There were up to I believe it was five levels and a seven story tower, and they all came crashing down. And uh, she, her health was not great by this time. Her rheumatoid arthritis was terrible. And after that, she tidied up the property. That was about it. Did some basic maintenance and just to be, essentially just tried to develop her portfolio and made a lot of money that way. So she just thought she get, kind of gave up on her project. 
the uh, moving I, to California did not help her arthritis at all. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Didn't seem it, to. <laughs> it might have been. It might have been worse if she stayed out in Boston. She might have. Might have. Yeah, I don't know. You, you I don't just, know if they've ever yeah. proven that or not, but that was the belief of the time, and uh, and there was also a heavy advertising campaign at that point to get people to move out to California, so that also influenced her. But I didn't uh, think anybody would remember that part. Okay, so the next thing uh, I don't know if anyone got this one, but the Blue Room is well documented. She had a gardener for many, 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 many years. Wow. And before that, it was just a general staff bedroom, but it was the gardener's bedroom. Oh, and the reason they know is he wrote journals about staying in that room. Mm. And, you know, there's access to that. So 77,780 is worth 2.2 million today. And 2.2 million is not that much. Yeah. But 2.2 million a day, uh, a year, not, not, you know, that's right. every year she's getting that. Yeah, I'll that's take just, it. I'll that's take just it. the dividend. That's just the dividend. Yeah, no, 7,700 oh, is yeah. worth 2.2 million a year. No, so the, the, the 70, the, the shares value. Oh, the shares. Okay. So, so. And don't forget, though, that there's that $300,000 million dollars worth later. of stock. Yeah. With the 2,200. No, two, no $2.2 million dollars worth of stock. And no, don't right. more math. This round is taken over an hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Number. Yeah, that's not that much. Rob. And number eight, it was uh, William McKinley or Theodore Roosevelt. And I heard lots of people getting Roosevelt. Okay. And this next one was quite well done. You guys kind of sussed it out. Essentially, she couldn't sleep. Sarah Winchester couldn't sleep. So she would play the pump organ at night. So if you said piano, pump organ, musical instrument, something like that, that's all I care about. It's her playing, uh, playing music. We guessed that and then guessed something else. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> did, she, did she also put on like a mask and laugh maniacally as she did it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Did she played okay. Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Nope. We, and we this got, last one. Gee, I don't we know. got that one right, didn't we? So the, the last one is that when. <laughs> Her house became a tourist attraction was nine months after she died. Oh, it went wow. up for auction. Nobody bought it. Somebody bought it, then leased it out to a guy who went, hey, I can, uh, I can make some money off of the, because uh, uh, the, the rumors about her being spiritual and believing in ghosts and it was ghost driven, that was in her lifetime. So they decided to capitalize on all these uh, myths. So it is 1923 oh. because he does. We also guessed that and then guessed something else. We took ourselves out of 1923. We, we overthought. It was nine months after death, which was in September 1922. Oh, wow. Following year is when it, it uh, became. Very good, Carl. So, uh, so that was the gestation period for uh, it becoming a tourist attraction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and like it's a birth, a like giving birth. <laughs> yeah, nine months. That's right. <laughs> okay, scores are off. Let's well, see how they did. Adrian, oh, we had the immediate C down, but we didn't bump up to one year, one more year. So you were close. You had the right idea. Wait, do you accept that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> <Worth a shot. laughs> nice try. <laughs> Good job. I like the spelling better. <laughs> <laughs> I did specifically say I wanted the exact year. No plus or minuses. <laughs> oh, Rob, are you? Where is Rob? Oh, there he is. Okay, here we go. Uh, Susan Gerber. Now Rob, if you need help with the formulas, we are happy to <laughs> offer assistance. I'll get I'll get Susan on it. No, no worries. All right. Uh, we love our group. Rob, please redo it. <laughs> I'm going to say six and count yeah. the TB one because we yeah. were discussing oh, the weather and the moves. Yeah, and we the got six. Yeah. What you got? yeah. All right. Trump, Kanye, and Nick joke. Wait a minute. Why do I have team two there? Trump, Kanye, and Nick joke during dinner. It was hilarious. <laughs> I believe we got five. No, six. Six? Six. Okay, six. 
Oh, oh one more six. Oh, there's three sixes there. Okay, already. team. I had five too. Yeah. Right, which, I, one, which one's in I dispute? I only had five. Which one's in dispute? All right. Let's, let's team two. So I'm, we missed we missed two, six, seven, and ten. Which one? And, the other one. And five. Oh, and, and five. I think the problem was with two. Yeah, you're right. Five. Okay, Con Yay, old trivia team. Mm -hmm. Six. That's too bad. The other one wasn't six. Six, oh. six, six. There <laughs> is no sanity clause. Seven. Ooh. Yep. Seven. Not a 10 with Carl. No. <laughs> and we dragged him down. <laughs> Robney Susan is drunk with power. Four. Oh, oh no. Curse of Carl Susan without Steve. Susan. <laughs> the curse of Susan. <laughs> uh, you didn't have to be that much like Susan, Rob. Oh, if, the, if, the Susan curse, if the Susan curse is carrying, and Rob is staying in that same group the whole time. <laughs> uh, we're in trouble. They're in trouble. We miss you, Susan. Hey, does anybody know what time the show starts at the Magic Castle? So it's a quarter to eight right now. I think 7.30. There you go. Okay. Okay. That's funny. I have a quarter to nine. Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie's not on video. Why is Jamie not on video? Jamie's up. Jamie. I had to Rob, let him Rob, back he in. Has, he has a laptop. And he has a, an, a pad, so you have to move him around. Well, then, then Adrian. Adrian. Oh, thank you. Can you guys, can you guys hear me? Uh, yes. Um, our internet just crashed about a minute ago. <sighs> so... Uh, so we have no Wi-Fi, we have nothing. So I, I just got on my cell phone to give you a message. I, I can't continue playing until our Wi-Fi comes back. Okay. Jamie, so sorry. I'm on the same team. Can you send me your questions and I'll and I'll take your place? Um. Uh, okay. Let's see. How can I do? Can I send it to you by messenger? Sure. Okay. I'll send you the questions and answers by messenger. Well, just the maybe questions by, first off. Maybe by carrier parrot. <laughs> Otherwise, okay, Gail, I'll, send you the I'll send you the, the questions and answers by well, messenger. Except the problem is Caspian's not even here, and he's next. Mm. <laughs> okay, Gail, I'll send it to you by messenger, but, okay? Yep, well, I've got, I've, I'm, I've opened messenger, so send Don't send, okay, don't I, send it. Okay, hold on, and I, 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 I can't contribute. Don't send Okay, hold on. Yeah. Don't hold send on. the answers. Evan, are you ready to go? You're on mute. Yeah, I can go. All right, yeah, well, that's another possibility. Why don't we do that? And then during the yeah. break, Jamie and I can work at work. All right, that. sounds good. All Kevin right, Kev Kevin is up. Let me make you co-host. Uh, there you go. Okay. I was the first to have the problems. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't believe our Wi-Fi has everyone else. Our uh, Wi-Fi hasn't crashed in weeks. I can't believe it. Well, it was so, due then. I know. It was Jeez. time. It's a uh, mystery category. Uh, mystery. I thought that they were disallowing that. Oh, no, we're just not supposed to get an extra point for figuring out what the mystery is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yay. Hey, mystery Kevin. category. So, Are you ready? Carl's well, muting. Uh, Carl's got yeah, mute. mute. In three, two, one, and mute. Mystery category. Name the song with these lyrics. You muted yourself, Kevin. It was a rolling and a strolling, reeling with the feeling. A uh, moving uh, something and a grooving. Name that song. Question number two. This word is popular. The word is popular among bootleggers during Prohibition. First came into use during the late 1860s, shortly after the land that is now Alaska was sold from Russia to the US. It is short for blank 
That's the word I'm looking for. And the rest of the word is there. It was a little longer. And uh, it's a word used by the, I can't even pronounce it, Tinglet indigenous people from Alaska to refer to a fermented beverage made from dried fruit. Question number three. This was specifically made for Susan, though she's not here. Name the actress who starred in the time travel movie, Peggy Sue Got Married. <laughs> I hate time travel. That's why I did this one. Number four, name the hit song, the song that hit number one, in April of 1975, it was co-written by Bernie Taupin, and it was done to honor Billie Jean King. And question number five, what is the national sport of China? Question number six. I have to show a picture. Take a picture of it or a screenshot of it. Uh-oh, what happened? I lost my photo. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to open that up again. Why? It's not sharing properly. What's the question? The question is, this 1929 Model A was the first of its type. What is its nickname? And I'll have to get that picture. Um, I'm going to put it in my background and shut my face off. That's one way of doing it. We did not let you share the screen. It, it did something weird. And when I started going back to the chat, it was going away. All right, get yourself out of the way. That's question number six. Okay. Oh, what's the nickname of that thing? In number seven, in 1941, blank became the official provider of game balls for the National Football League, American football, a partnership that continues to this day. Question eight, nine, and 10. You can unshare the screen. Oh, did I have a screen? No, I think it's just his background. Yeah, it's right? behind you, so you're just out of the picture for some reason. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Okay. Uh, eight, blank, blank is the maximum speed attained above by an object as it falls through a fluid. Air is the most common example. It occurs when the sum of the drag force and the buoyancy is equal to the downward force of gravity acting on the object. Since the net force of the object is zero, the object has zero acceleration. Fill in the two blanks. Number nine, what was the nickname of the character John Goodman voiced in two movies, the first in 2001 and then again in 2013? And question number 10, there's no crying in what? And that's it. Go to your rooms. No questions, because you'll help anybody else out. Unless you really have one, then.
Hey, Rob. Yes. Apparently, recording is being in progress. I'm Just pretty sure that's like true. Channel. Yes. All right, here come the answers. They come. Number one, the song is Splish Splash. Ah. Splish yep. Splash, I'm taking mm -hmm. a bath. Take a splish Thank in and a splash Thank and you, doesn't Brandy. count. Number two was Hooch. Yes. Number three, the answer is Kathleen Turner. Number four, the answer is Philadelphia Freedom. Ew. Elton John song. Why? Why? What's the connection? Uh, he was in a movie called, called Philadelphia. Philadelphia. He was in the middle of Philadelphia. No, no, no. Why was that to honor Billie Jean? Can I ask because that's what the, the song was about. Her the song was about. Team, her tennis team is called the Philadelphia Freedoms. And Elton John and Bernie Toppin wrote the song specifically for her. Team two, can you let? Will you let me change the answer? What? What answer are you uh, changing? Uh, the the one that we haven't come to yet. Um, for the for seven. I, you remember I, the right answer. Well, now, now that, we we got the answers I, on the I, screen now, so yeah. Well, it's kind of number five is ping pong or table tennis. I trust Gail. Oh. She hasn't looked at. Number yet. six is Woody. I didn't look. Number seven is Wilson. Oh, number, got that wrong. Number eight is terminal velocity. Yep. Number nine is Sully. Sully. And, and number oh. 10 is baseball. We write about Monster Inc. Couldn't remember the name of the character. Yeah. That came up That's a few years ago. The character that Tom Hanks played in uh, the movie Sully. Yeah, yeah the specific character yeah. didn't come up, but last week I used 2319 as one of my clues. Ah. And finally, so, every, every one of these is a Tom Hanks, Hanks. related. Yep. Come on. Oh. And they're in order uh, chronologically, too. Mm. Except okay. For the last Let's start the with the seller team, which right now is Rob is drunk with power. Uh, we have nine. Nine. Yes. And let's see. Um, then uh, Trump, Kanye, and Nick joke during dinner. It was hilarious. We have eight. Ooh. Yeah, it was eight. Tied for the lead. We love our group. Not for Rob, very long. Please redo it. We have nine. Nine. New leader. Uh, Khan Yale trivia team. He old. Eight. Uh, have not taken up the lead. One more chance. There is no sanity clause. Ten. Yeah. yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> and we have a leader. And nothing to do with we me. We defied the curse. We defied and the curse. Beat the curse. <laughs> they would have had 10 if I wasn't even on the team. Okay. Thanks. So <laughs> let's see. Actually, I put that in the wrong place because that was round. Um, 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 yeah. That was round four. Let's, let's, let's do that. Right, but are we calling it round two? Because that's when it was. Yeah, that's fine. Given. But then we changed my team number to two. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, we're going to okay. do that. We just did them out of order. Pick All right. Picture. Now picture. we picture. still don't have Caspian. Picture and break picture. time. It's getting picture. scary. It's right, getting so we have picture. break time. Somebody can run over and get Caspian. So run over? Run over? <laughs> Who's close enough to run over? Karen? So Karen? I cannot do no, the picture. Can I do the picture? I, I can run that. across the country like Forrest Gump. I'll be there next week. <laughs> you can get everybody on the same screen and take a picture. Yeah, I was going to say, can you get everybody on the it. same screen? Adrian, Adrian's on it. Just give me a second. I have to open up my snap snippet tool thing. Um, I'm going to make um, it look like Susan, I'm driving that car. Susan uh -huh. Gerbic. Yes, Karen. Susan Gerbic, what, what is the backup plan if Caspian doesn't make it? Uh, as I said, somebody from Team Three is going to just have to make up something. <laughs> Which is uh, uh, Cindy, Janine, on the fly, Jim, Kyle, or Ron. I hope somebody's got something planned. Otherwise, <laughs> oh, you know, I guess Rob. we won't do around three. Is the next one? No. Okay. No, well, Rob. I think that Rob, works. I'll do the next round. Rob, round, round, Rob, round three. I'll do. I'm on my cell Just keep pushing Caspian off. Yeah. yeah. Jamie's here. Jamie says he can do round three. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't care what order we're calling it, but we still have one person missing from a time. Right. Okay, yeah. Doesn't seem like they're going to okay. show up. Yeah. I'll do round three. Okay. Is everyone right. ready for a picture? Sure. Yes. Three, two, one. Cheese. Cheese. Cheddar. 
<laughs> Mozzarella. Then burger. Bill and butter. You got, you got that, Adrian? Yeah, got it. Okay, five minutes notice. Cream cheese. So, is there okay, anyone bye. on Caspian's team okay. who has a, a category in their back pocket? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, bye all. Um, no. Bye, Good Jim. Night. Bye, Jim. Bye. 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 So, ooh, so that's Kyle. Who is it again? Caspian uh, is not here. So it's Cindy, Janine, Jim, who just left, Kyle, and Ron. Well, I have a suggestion if someone needs one. Yeah. I can send them to a, a site that has photos like I did for Name That Cat and Name That uh. Dog. And you can play one of those rounds where they have like Name That other cartoon character or something you know or we could just do one round less since we're already running long and blame cast we'll do that ever for I making the game different that will mess up, that'll mess up our averages <laughs> no not the averages fans. total score or <clears throat> or we can all get our average everybody gets oh. a 10. yeah so there's right. also well, so we'll we'll get a there's Five all, there's our averages are our averages also, are our averages, no matter what we do. Sorry. So yep. there's also websites if Ron or Kyle or um or Cindy want to do it. You just go to it. And it's like ten random trivia questions. There's they have those too. See you in a bit. Um, Jeremy, did you see the text I sent you? Hi, Gail. What? I sent you a, a message. In chat. A messenger? In chat. Oh, okay. Hold on. Yep, I'm okay. Um, I, I think I, I, I could do it on my cell phone. Okay. So we're okay. Thank you. You didn't send her the answers. No, no. I haven't seen the answers at all. You have, no, in you fact, I sent me the questions. Just a question. I had so we're just okay. barely looked at them. Yeah, so we're we're fine. So when, when are we doing? Um, are we taking a break? Yeah, it's yeah. break yeah, time right now. It's Five always break. break time. Okay. Usually, I, I always dread our Wi-Fi going out. It's, I think it happened like three or four times since we lived here. But figured yeah, just before yeah before I'm hosting a game, of course the Wi-Fi goes out. I heard I heard noise outside, like a car crashed. So I have a funny feeling that a, a telephone pole. Got knocked down by a by a truck or a car. Uh oh. That's what it sounded like. So it could be a person lying on the ground without a head. But the important thing is your Wi-Fi works. Yeah. Well, now my Wi-Fi. Right now I'm on cellular, so I hope I have cellular cell. works. That's all that counts. The cellular works. Care. So I don't hope. care if there's a dead person crashing to a. Plane. Yeah, that, that's okay. We, that that's we don't okay. care about. <laughs> He didn't mess up the connection that much. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I had something weird happen like that once. I drive, I drove up to an accident scene where there was an accident, and the car in front of me uh, drove onto a lawn and went around it, and I followed him. And as I did it, the owner of the house came running out and chased me down, started banging on my car, took my license plate number down, and said, I'm calling the police on you. You drove on my lawn. And I'm like, I drove around an accident scene and the guy ended up suing me and getting like $500 from my insurance company. And, uh, and I said, to the insurance company, a guy died on the street. And this guy cares about people driving on one foot of his lawn. A guy died. Oh my God. It was horrible. Pathetic. Pathetic. He was well, worried about the worst... the, his, his little strip of land that people put one tire on. Oh my God. Ridiculous. But I tell you, the worst place to see an accident is in China. So when I was driving in China, what they do is when there's a car or a motorcycle accident, if someone dies, they, the police come and they take the body and they put it on full display on the street so that as people drive by, they're warned to be careful. Wow. So they force, you, they force you to see the dead bodies on the street. Wow. It's gross. I couldn't believe it. But that's, yeah, the people I was traveling with, they said that's what they do. It's a deterrent against um, poor driving. In the U.S., if they have a decapitation, almost immediately they throw a white, uh, white sheet over the car. The cops yeah, of when course. They, get there. they cover it of right course. up. 
Yeah. It reminds well, me I, in Driver's Ed when we had that movie Faces of Death to scare us. Well, Red that? Asphalt. You remember the movie Red, yeah, Red Asphalt. Asphalt? That was it. Red Red Asphalt was the name of it. That's right. I, I thought it was Faces still of have, Death, but yeah, Red Asphalt. I still have nightmares. It was, the, I, um, I remember yeah. one Blood on the Pavement, I think. Was yeah. Saying. Blood on the pavement. Red asphalt, yeah. Red asphalt. Yeah, red asphalt. Faces of Death was a real movie too, but it wasn't uh, about that. That was just about dead people. Well, there was I a scene well. in that movie. I guess when I was a kid, like 15, taking driver's ed, we were forced to watch yeah. Red Asphalt. Yeah. And what, there's one scene, someone died and um, they put the body in a bag, but it was like a sausage that the body pieces were falling. They take this body out of the car and body pieces are falling. Oh. And all the kids, all the kids are horrified. And so, um, but I mean, that was like 50 years ago. So, you know, the movie definitely had an impact. I do remember on the contrary though, in health class, when we would watch the, there were a couple of films that we watched about drugs and we were all like, oh, that looks good. Like we want <laughs> to do that. That looks cool. <laughs> yeah. <It's a> madness. <laughs> Oh yeah, really no. You know, I never thought <laughs> yes, that Orson Peters didn't go watch Tree for Madness. This oh, sounds like know. a trivia category. <laughs> yeah. So, so one, the, the film that made a big impression on me, I think it Mike's was taking notes. About sixth grade, fifth grade, <laughs> something like that, was about uh, smoking and lung disease. And it was oh, yeah. black and white. And it was this guy who had really bad lung disease and they showed his operation from like start to finish like they yeah. washed his chest they took a knife and they sliced him open right in the middle and then they Oof. broke open his chest and pulled out this completely black lung Ugh. gross that would be effective yeah <laughs> i agree jane that would that would be good even in black <laughs> maybe a bit more in black and white actually this recording should come with a trigger warning when we post it seriously yeah <laughs> editing seriously. editing <laughs> just to change the subject i got some um orthopedic shoes recently and um i thought that they wouldn't work for me but here i am i stand corrected <laughs> 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 Oh no! Oh, wow. Okay, oh, so I'm pretty good. I set rule. that up pretty good. I, I'm yeah. going to suggest Diane continues this rule. Uh, Diane, <laughs> Susan continues this rule. Uh, anyone with a team that makes a dad joke loses one point. I'm going to make yeah. a, a, oh, an entry geez. in the spreadsheet. <laughs> okay, so are we ready? Is everybody back? No, everyone's not back. Not quite. Hmm. But I, but I loved it. So, and that's hmm. the important thing. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes? No? It is. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so Caspian's still not here, is he? Is anybody, <clears throat> anybody monitoring the uh, waiting room? Well, no, I, I'm, doing the, I'm doing the next category, Rob. Yeah. Well, the bartender said, we don't serve time travelers. A time traveler walks into a bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the plot of uh, <laughs> Destination. <laughs> Yes, I saw that movie because you told me to watch it. Yeah, did, it think? was good. What'd you think? It was weird. It was good. Yeah, it, it was, was unusual. That? I'll say that. What movie? And, and it would destination. Vincent and I think it would too. be no, no, no hints for anybody who hasn't seen it, but it would definitely be banned by DeSantis in Florida. Oh, okay. Oh God, it was uh, definitely. It definitely. Uh, <laughs> and and I and I and and I definitely want to use it it definitely does the phrase go fuck yourself mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so wow. jamie's up okay um Jamie, do you I'm have doing this... powers do you have powers no do you do i have nothing because I'm, I'm on my cell phone so i have no oh. powers at all so this could be a bit yeah, of a challenge fling so them around Actually, you do though. It says you have co-host permission, so I wonder how that works on a phone. I, I think know. you, can, I think you can give him permissions, but I don't think his phone can find them. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think my phone can do anything. Weird. Okay. But I'll, I'll, we'll see what we'll see how it, I never used my cell phone before doing this. So, so how are you going to put stuff in the chat? Uh, um, type really quickly. 
Yeah, well, Gail no, is, I, I, I thought. He sent his info to Gail. No, no. Luckily, uh, luckily, oh. I sent it by email to myself. Oh, okay. And um, so I have an email. So I'm going to be going back and forth through email to Zoom. Oh, okay. Okay. Good, good luck with that. What What yeah. is the category? <laughs> okay. So for for many years, one of my favorite pastimes was to travel to New York City to attend Broadway shows. And oftentimes, my wife and I would go to London to go to the theater production of the West End. So the category is characters appearing in musicals. So I'm gonna give you a list of characters and then you give the name of the musical in which they appear. Mm. Okay? So okay, let's see if I can see if chairs. this works. All right, are we okay. ready for muting in three, two, one, mute. Jamie, okay. you're muted. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So number one, um, okay, the characters are Nathan Detroit, Sky Masterson, and Miss Adelaide. Does anybody else hear Morse code or is that just my speakers? Oh, let's stop now. So Number two, can you hear me? Is, is it okay? Yeah, yeah. I was getting tap, tap, tap noises for some reason between you talking. I don't know if it was just me. Oh, strange. Okay, number two, Velma Kelly, Billy Flynn, and Mama Morton. Number three, Belinda, Alfaba, and Fierro. Number five, I, let's see, oops, number four. Four, Edna Turnblad, Link Larkin, and Penny Pingleton. Uh, let's see, number five, Joe Boyd, Mr. Applegate, and Joe Hardy. Number six, Bernardo, Tony, and Riff. Number seven, Sally Bowles, Herr Schultz, Ernst Ludwig, and Fräulein Schneider. Number eight, Max Bialystok, Leo Bloom, and Ulla Inga Hansen Benson Janssen Tallinn Holland Svensson Svansen Bloom. <laughs> Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> Jeez. Mm -hmm. Number nine, King Arthur, Sir Robin, and Sir Bedivere. And number 10, Frank Butler, Sitting Bull, Tommy Keeler, and Buffalo Bill. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Any questions? Let's see. I have to throw you around to different rooms, right? Is that true? Jamie. Jamie, you here? Jamie's gone. How did Jamie disappear?
Okay. <clears throat> Ben, you'll never know her favorite. I know. It, it cut off Brandy, right? She was ready to tell me her, her My favorite, favorite flavor. is? It's a secret. No. I think it's Blackberry or something like that. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like Blackberry. Hopefully, it's not your favorite cell phone. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she she likes the classics, okay? okay. The rest of us don't yeah, know what, your, what favorite thing you're talking about. So that's personal between me and my group. Okay. Yeah. yeah there you go. Sorry. <laughs> Some things must be kept Good inside answer. the group. Okay? Good no, answer. I'm talking about Izzy sodas because I or whatever the these things. Not like this oh, thing. I love with, them. Oh, Brian. Oh, I love oh, them. I like the apple. The apple is the best. Oh, apple. I like apple. Apple's good. It's, it's good okay. Is answer alcoholic. Answer. 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 Caspian okay, says he's everybody. joining in a bit. Yay. All right. Yay. Yay. Is everybody wild? Yay. <laughs> okay. Is, is everyone back? Yeah, we're all back. Yep. Go for it. Okay. Oh. Here, are the, here are the answers. So, number one was Nathan Detroit, Sky Masterson, and Miss Adelaide. Uh, that's in Guys and Dolls. Number two, Velma Kelly, Billy Flynn, and Mama Morton. They appeared in Chicago. <sighs> To accept Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's Velma Dinkley, not Velma Kelly. I know, but I had to do the joke twice. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, number three, uh, Glinda Elfaba and Fiero was they were in Wicked. Wicked. I like Wicked. Wicked was good. Was wicked good. good. Wicked. It was it was good. Wicked. Wicked. Good. Wicked. wicked good. We say Wicked. Wicked Pessa. Wicked Pessa. <laughs> number four, it was. Edna Turnblad, Link Larkin, Penny Pendleton. Another character was Tracy Turnblad, and that was in Hairspray. Oh, Hairspray. <clears throat> Never saw them. Number five, uh, Joe Boyd, Mr. Albigate, and Joe Hardy. Uh, another character I didn't say was Lola. Probably Did you get this one, easy. Alan? And number five is Damn Yankees. I would have needed yes. Lola. <laughs> you played Joe Hardy in the, in the play. <laughs> <laughs> Damiak. I saw Damiakis <laughs> in London with uh, Jerry Lewis. It was good. Oh, he played Lola. Number four. What was number four? <laughs> he played Lola. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Drag. A la Merton. Bill, Merton. Uh, Merle. What's his name? Milton Burl. Milton Burl. Milton. Oh, Milton Burl. Milton Burl. Jamie. What was number four? So Whoa, number number four. Right. Four was Hairspray. Number five is Damn Yankees. Uh, number six. Uh, Bernardo, Tony Riff, and another character is Anita. And that's West Side Story. Yes. And you missed Maria. Maria. You didn't like it, Maria. Wow. No, if I gave Maria, that's just everybody would know. That'd be way too easy. What do you do with that's a problem way like too Maria, easy. Rob? <laughs> yeah, it's too easy. Number seven, You're Sally Bowles. Kyle to drink. <laughs> Number seven, Sally Bowles, Hirschfeld, Ernst Ludwig, and Fräulein Schneider. That's Cabaret. Oh, Cabaret. Totally it's the only um the, the only show I took my wife to Boston and the last scene I don't know if you remember it they end up in a concentration camp my wife was crying at the end so you know all the Jewish people in the audience when at the end of the show people are crying when guys, you know, the character hey guys, was camp. the guys on my team I, that's what I was thinking of I just gave the wrong name for the wrong show sorry uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh, sure likely story Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, thinking the right answer. I just said the right. right. <laughs> yeah. So, Number eight. Thing. We'll give you an imaginary point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so number number eight, Max Bialystok, Leo Bloom, and Ula Inga Hansen, Benson, Janssen, Tal, and Holland, Swanson, Swanson <laughs> Bloom. That's um the producers. <laughs> number nine. I think it has two answers. King Arthur, Sir Robin, and Sir Belvedere. I was thinking of Spam a lot. Spamala. Yeah. But it, but it could be, but Camelot was also a musical which mm. had the same characters. So either was Spamalot Robin or Camelot though. Not Sir Ray Sir Robin? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't think Sir Robin was I think that's I a Spamalot thing. I think that's a Spamalot. Carl Carl, did you go with us to see Spamalot? Yes, I did. Okay, I thought so. Oh, so I don't know about Camelot. I, I thought about Spamalot. It was actually um Sir Robin 
the not so gra as great as brave full name Robert, Robert 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 as brave as right. It was Sir Belvedere, the greatly flatulent. That was his yes. name. <laughs> <laughs> the greatly flatulent. That's good. Something like that. It's, it's been. And number 10, Frank Butler, Sitting Bull, Tommy Healer, and Buffalo Bill was Annie Get Your Gun. Yes. Good job, team. Oh, let me post it. I'm hoping my team allows me to yell out the the um score only in the form of a dad joke oh. <laughs> unfortunately not okay starting with trump kanye and nick etc uh 10 Ooh, uh, uh, ten, yes and you're in the lead congratulations for as long mm -hmm. as that lasts um, apparently i am drunk with power uh seven <laughs> Seven? Seven. Seven. One? Yes. Seven? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. We got Why do I think we two, did? four, seven wrong. Two, four, and seven. <laughs> yes. Oh. Which, uh, okay. by the powers um, of math, leaves us with seven. Uh, <laughs> on ye old trivia team. Ten. Ten. <sighs> wow. Uh, we love our group. Rob, please redo it. I think eight. We I, um we had a long discussion of Spamalot versus Camelot, and I'm pretty sure we ultimately settled on Camelot. <laughs> I, I've got yeah, Spamalot I, written I got Spamalot written with Camelot in parentheses, but we can go either way. We'll go with I think the we, I think we ultimately we, okay. we took it we took the point for TB. I think we should give this one away. <laughs> <laughs> and go out and push your pram a lot. Yeah, and we yeah. guessed the music man for number five. That was a guess. Uh, it's embarrassing because we're theater people. <laughs> mm. All right. And last but not least, maybe very much not least, there is no sanity clause. And, yeah. <laughs> and the lead stays the same. Close game. Pretty close. Okay. Where um, is Caspian? We go He's going to be here any minute. Caspian is here. He is before here. We go oh. to the Caspian next here? Round, Susan? I admitted him. Yes. Susan, before we go to the next round, do you have everything covered for next week? Um, I let me look at what she's got, what I've got. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> so, in fact, no, only only one round is covered. Who else would like to step up? Who has the one round? Carl. I can take a round. All right. Very good. Thank you. I have a bonus, and I can do one too. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not on the screen, so I don't see who's talking. Terry has a bonus. Terry has a bone. Oh, wait, why is it not letting me scroll? Well, this is weird. Um, I can't actually see five. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So Terry is doing the bonus. And Correct. who else said something? Gail. 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 I'm better at writing questions than answering them. <laughs> I, I I can commiserate, which leaves one round open. Anybody? Anybody? I'll do it. Who's that? Who's that? I'll do. Robin, Robin. will do one. Do one. All right. Excellent. Yay, Robin. So we have Aaron, Carl, Gail, Robin, and Terry for next week. Great. Excellent. Thanks for reminding. Does anybody me. need to arrive later or be done earlier? <laughs> I'd prefer an earlier, but I can stay till I'm told. Actually, I, I, I got you first since you spoke. Okay. Um, okay. So I don't see my screen must not be big enough. I don't actually see Caspian anywhere. Where's Caspian? He's there. there he is. There. Caspian. He's the one there. dressed like Howard Hughes. Caspian's on I mean, not Howard Hughes. Who's, who's that guy from the Playboy? We can see Caspian. I have to drag Caspian Who's the Playboy guy? What's his name? Not Howard Hughes. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. That was just like Hugh Hefner. He's going to do karate. Yeah. 
Caspian needs to speak and he'll pop up onto Rob's front page. No, it doesn't here, no, it I doesn't promise, work that way. I do not have any jars of urine stored in any portion of my house. <laughs> Fingernails. Oh, that's a <laughs> He's dressed like can a neither Are you wearing the black belt? All right, Caspian, thank you for showing up and uh, not making my uh, heart palpitations worse. Um, all right, so you're up. And what is your category? All right. Tonight's category is something that a few of you should know something about. It is Canada. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Blame Canada. Oh, All right. An idiot on my like team. I know very little about. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, Canada? In. I've been there once, eh? Mute three, but two, one, mute. All right. Question one. What is the opening line of Canada's national anthem? Question two. How many countries border Canada, including territorial waters and exclusive economic zones? Question three. What is the name of the northernmost continuously inhabited place in the world? Question four. One of the regiments of the Canadian Army is named after a British princess. What was her name? As in first name. Question five. The history of Canada's independence features numerous laws passed in both Canada and the UK. What law passed in 1982 finally granted complete legal sovereignty to Canada? Question six. What is a donaire, the official food of Halifax? Question seven. What professional sports league awards, awards the Grey Cup? Question eight. During the early 20th century, Canada prohibited the pro production and consumption of alcohol, with some caveats. What province was the last to repeal prohibition? And I mean that in a general sense, there are apparently still some dry communities in Canada. Question nine. What is the best-selling Canadian novel published in 1908 by Lucy Maud Montgomery? And question 10. What Canadian university boasts the most Nobel laureates and Rhodes Scholars? All right. Okay. I'm glad we have uh, one Canuck on our team. I can't send you all to your room, so... Oh, I didn't give you the... Well, I got to do that. So you can visit. Uh, my co-host. There you go. But meanwhile, Carl, please send us to our rooms. So you should be in room three. Are you not able to do that? Why are you mute? You're muted, by the way. Okay. Not doing it. Did I not properly join my room? What's going on? I don't know. Uh, apparently, you invited me back here. Um, because I saw you in the wrong room, which was weird. I wonder if it's displaying wrong. Here we go again. Not joined. Move to room. Room three. Wait a minute. What's it doing here? Move to room three. There you go. Okay. Thanks.
it's funny whenever we come in here we're always reminded of recordings in progress so thank you caspian for having something canada centric oh, so, you know what adrian would know all these no, I know all of them. <laughs> she's a teacher it was fun. It was fun. So not fair. Uh, five five was driving me nuts Five, five, number five was driving me crazy because I can. Well, let's get to the answer. It was also yeah. driving us crazy, and we had Adrian driving. on our team. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Question one The opening line of Canada's national anthem is, Oh, Canada, our home and native land. <laughs> Question two The countries that border Canada are the United States, Denmark, and France. For some reason, I had Russia written down here, and that's wrong. Yeah, that what? would be Alaska. Well, no, I, I, it would not Russia at the very, very tip top. I don't think they kind of border at the very top. Not quite. The the EEZs come close, but they don't quite touch. Uh, well, guys, I got the France. France. So it's three then. <laughs> Yes. yes, there are two no. tiny little islands off the coast of Nova Scotia. No. San Pierre and Nicolon. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I couldn't remember so what the they answer touched. is three. The answer is three, yes. We guessed three. We didn't get the the names right. We got three. Darn it. We should have left ours three. Uh, well, well, Denmark, no, Greenland, sorry. we got. We got the wrong countries. Fortunately, you don't need the countries, just the number. Yeah. Question three, the northernmost continuously inhabited place in the world is named Alert. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is yeah. a military Alert. station of the Canadian forces. Right. It's Thank probably a lighthouse are. there, too. Uh, I don't Does like it. It's a trick it's question. Does it say where it's located? Uh, it's at the tip of Ellesmere Island. Uh, in none of it. Yes. Oh, see, we, we said We're having none of it. But we how love come... of it because it didn't say a particular spot or a city. <laughs> yeah. We think we should get credit for that. We got oh, alert. In that case, I could have said Canada because. Yeah. Oh, did you get alert? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got is, alert. Is, is Baffin Island way up there? It, it's, uh... That's not as far north. Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell you the, the order of the islands of Canada as far north. <laughs> I couldn't tell you that either. Uh, question four. This regiment is Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry. Oh, geez. Oh my God. I remembered that. Where the heck was she a club princess? Now, her father, except Princess Peach. Her father was the third son of Queen Victoria and was Governor General of Canada during the First World War. But Canada did not fight as, a, as an independent uh, uh, army. They were part of the British Army. But she raised a specific regiment in Canada. It was the last privately raised regiment in the entire British Empire. That it was I adopted by Canada and remains to this day in its uh, army. Canadian army is a mounty, a moose, and a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. And Dudley do right. Yeah, the Navy, Navy does really good, except for when somebody loses the oar. <laughs> oh. uh, Question or? five. There are two names I will accept. They are the Constitution Act, which was what was passed in Ottawa, oh. and the Canada Act, which is what was passed in London. I knew that there were guys. Uh, well, now, I said time. Canada Sovereignty Act. Would that work? No, I'm afraid it has to be Canada Act or Constitution Act. Okay. All right. Picky, picky, picky. Question six. A doner is a Greek Euro sandwich. Oh, very Basically. good, Kyle. All right. I'm not sure what the distinction is between that and a Euro. Donut, it's Alan. Not as far donut. As I can tell there's no distinction. It's probably the tzatziki sauce. Uh, we'd we'd like to there? replace our Canadian with a different Canadian. Yeah, what does please? it take to take away Canadian citizenship from somebody? So, so we said like uh, a spicy meat on a flatbread. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty is close. That good enough. That, that's what it is. I would. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I, I think. Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Um, question seven. The Grey Cup is awarded by the Canadian Football League. Yay. Yay. Get that one, Alan? Alan got yes, that right. he did. He got that one for us. <laughs> question eight. One, eh? The last province to repeal prohibition was Prince Edward Island uh, in 1948. Oh. oh. Adrian, please start the process to remove Alan's Canadian citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> no. hey, I got that one wrong, too. It, I had no idea. It has been revoked. Sorry, if you Alan. had both Steiners in there, you wouldn't Adrian, have done much Adrian, better. What did, Adrian, what did, you, what did you say? I said Alberta only because we're the, probably the most conservative province in, El, in, the, in the country. No, but I, I, I just figured Quebec, Al, because of that, there, it's a cat, a la Oh, there are a bunch of alcoholics in Quebec. They probably Alberta was what I was voting for. But yeah. do people know why it was Prince uh, Andrew Island? Andrew's Island? Prince Edward. Prince Edward Island. Yeah, well, because it's an island and it took a long time for them to find out about it. <laughs> <laughs> They probably never they stopped had drinking one anyway. The Navy only had one awe. <laughs> Question nine. The best-selling Canadian novel ever is Anne of Green Gables. <gasps> yes. Wow. That was a good, good guess. Job, good job, team. And question 10. This Canadian university is McGill University. <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hey, we... We did good in the second half of this one. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I can keep my citizenship. Alan will give you a pass. It wasn't we'll Waterloo. Give me a pass. You got the last two right. The Americans, the Americans on our team guessed McGill, and uh, we went with Adrian's suggestion, which was not McGill. <laughs> well, we, oh. we, we we actually debated whether it was the, which one it was going to be. We went with my first thought. That was it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think McGill is the only university that anybody knows down here. That's yes. probably yes. true. No, exactly. there's McMaster like and there's say, Vancouver. We we did all say that in the room that us Americans, it's the only university we knew. <laughs> yeah. well, it's I, also I one that's like pretty say, let's, let's understand for those Americans here who are busy criticizing the Canadians, how many right. times have we had something about an American president that we didn't know? Or American laws. It's a lot of pressure on the Canadians. It's like you have to know everything about Canada. That's not fair. Yeah, you guys still don't know the national drink of Rhode Island. Uh, <laughs> there's there's no national dish in Rhode Island. There's a state drink. <laughs> Let's get the scores. Let's something get milk. Scores. Something coffee milk. milk. Coffee milk. Coffee <laughs> milk. Scores. Okay, so we're looking at, let's see who's in the cellar. Uh, apparently my team. Rough, with power. <laughs> And we're digging deeper. Uh, we got four. Oh, <laughs> woo! Oh, yeah, yeah. Still in the basement. No, there's 23. Okay, I, I for second right now. Yeah. Oh, we. Oh man, we love our group. Rob, please redo it. Seven. Very good. Woo. Trump, Kanye, and Nick, etc. Hitlerious. Five. Four. Five. Yeah, five. Five. Oh, where did we get five? We got five. We got one, six, seven, nine, and ten. Oh, okay. All right. A. Didn't we? A. Yeah. We had five. Yeah, we'll go with that. <coughs> Is that in Canadian dollars or American? <laughs> Canadian dollars. Tiny old trivia team. Five. Oh. All right. Did Kevin, Carl, Karen, and Mike get more than three? Mm. Yeah. One, three. Oh, it's getting closer All right. well some teams are still in striking distance <laughs> some teams not <laughs> <laughs> well you know if you weren't drunk you'd probably do that yeah that's the problem <laughs> you're not mathematically out of it we're, I'm, we're just I'm... we're just having an off night okay you know what happens <laughs> all righty final round which is mine 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 let me pull up my data here. Okay, we're we're going to start with a little audio segment. Uh oh. And uh, this is a voice you will recognize saying something that is not true. Well, that's all for now. This is Adrian Hill signing off from one of seventeen countries around the world that has only a single land border. Blah. 
Sorry, not according to Wikipedia. So the category is countries with a single land border. And something she said there, Wikipedia. maybe both things, but at least one thing she said was wrong. So <laughs> despite what Adrian recently claimed on the skeptic zone, there are, according to Wikipedia, not 17, but 15 countries that currently share a land border with only one other country. List 10 of them. Only Do not include only dependent share territories. share a border with one other country. I'm going to have to check your data with Wikipedia's. I yeah. thought there was something in there that actually had some, um, anyway, there's no. So list 10 of them and do not include dependent territories such as Gibraltar, St. Martin, that sort of thing. So there you go. Any questions? So there's 17. There's 15, 15 according to yeah. Rob. Right. According to Wikipedia, there are 15 countries. Uh, does it include exclusive economic but Adrian, support? Adrian thinks there's 17. There's a land right? border. I'm gonna land have border. Check it. My when source. you say don't include, you're talking about anyone who has an independent government, right? Yeah, whatever was considered a de dependent territory, exclude them. And apparently St. Martin and Gibraltar are, are dependent territories. Dependent, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So who do we get to replace Wait. you, Rob? So we need a Rob replacement. No, unfortunately, you'll just have to do without me since I know all the answers. So. Uh -huh. So if it was an completely surrounded by water. No, nope, land border. Touching. Land border. Land border. Okay, land border. Thank you. Yeah. All okay. righty. Okay. Any other questions? No. Nope. Okay. We're on to the next one. Okay, so um, I told everybody I told everybody something in the beginning, but one of the rooms misinterpreted it. So I corrected it for them. So I'm going to correct it for everybody else. I said, Adrian said two things, and at least one of them were wrong. So of course, that means maybe both of them are wrong, or maybe only one of them is wrong. Just to be clear.
I'm doing a broadcast and I think this time it's going to work. So to be clear about what I said at the beginning, Adrian said from Canada, one of the, and she gave a number, uh, countries that only has one land border. And what I said was, she's wrong about at least one statement there. That's what I said, at least one statement.
Hmm. Interesting. That's a good one. Fascinating. Vincent, are we being recorded? Mm -hmm. You know, I did that joke already, so you're kind of late. <laughs> Story of his life. <laughs> I think we're all back, right? Let's yep. see. Yeah, yeah. Unless we're all front. Uh, front and center, get it? Yeah. Okay, so once, once more, I'm going to play Adrian's closing, which, by the way, so I heard that and I said, oh, that's a great, that's a great, I have to find out what these countries are and do a category. And then I found out, ah, there's a problem there. But all right. Well, that's all for now. This is Adrian Hill signing off from one of 17 countries around the world that has only a single land border. Okay, so let's see what these 15 countries are. <laughs> And if they include Canada. All right. First off, there are three landlocked countries. Uh, the first one is a person, place I've never heard of. Loth, Lef, Lesotho? 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 Anybody go? Okay. Yeah. We get an extra yes. point just because we know how to say it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was there. The Did second I? is San Marino. Uh -huh. And the last landlocked country is the only place of those I've been, Vatican City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Vatican City doesn't count. Sorry, it does. Yes. Now we go with the, uh, country. the countries that have one border on land, but they also have a coastline. So Brene is one of them. Borders the Malaysian state of Sarawak on the island of Borneo. There is, of course, the Dominican Republic. Yay. Here is the island of Hispaniola. There is the Republic of Gambia. Boy, did you include Haiti? Because the Dominican Republic and Haiti are both on there, yeah. And the next one is Haiti, yes. Yay. All right. And the next one is Ireland, the Republic of specifically. And then there is Monaco, which borders France. Thank you for specifying the Republic of Ireland. Oh, Monaco. That's important. Yes, it is. And then there's Papua New Guinea, ah. where is Indonesia, and then this one I knew, Portugal, big border with Spain, and I still don't know how to say this one. <laughs> border it's, Soviet, been, it, it's, been, it's been saying yeah. Qatar. They've been saying Qatar on World Cup. On World Cup match. And the New York oh, Times Qatar just did answer. a piece on this, and Arabs prefer apparently us saying Qatar and not trying to say it the way Qatar, they do because we just Qatar. don't have, mm -hmm. yeah, we just don't have the the, the glottal thing. thing. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so South Korea clearly, right? Mm -hmm. And now we get to one. I don't know where this is. Timor Leste borders mm -hmm. Indonesia, on the island of Timor. Yeah, it's just it's uh, um, uh, like Malaysia. I think it borders. And lastly, but not leastly, not Canada, but the United Kingdom, which borders the Republic of Ireland. I had a question about so, that. Let me, let, me tell you, let me tell you about Canada. He, he let... did say Gambia, didn't he? Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the Republic, yes, Gambia, yeah. Republic of the Gambia. Yeah. yeah, he did. Thank you. So let me, uh, let me tell you about why it says Canada is not included. So 2022, Canada and Denmark each only bordered one country, United States and Germany, respectively. But in a treaty, Canada officially agreed to create a land border on Hans Island, ending a longstanding dispute over its ownership. Ah. So 2022, it's brand new. That's why, Adrian. Oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Lame. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what country is Hans Island? Yeah, I don't remember. May have been true when you said it, right? Well, yeah. Hans 
I would I would have to I would have to guess that Hans Island is part Canada and part Denmark. <clears throat> Otherwise, they wouldn't be a land border yeah. on them. Right. Yeah. Mar, Mar a Lago is that like another planet? It appears uh, to be between northern Greenland and Ellesmere Island, not far from Alert. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm expecting so we for had, an update. I used an outdated <laughs> list then. I'm I'm yeah. actually just trying to find that. Expecting an update on the skeptic zone just to There you go. I will definitely. That's really cool actually. <laughs> all right. <laughs> scores, Susan, you scores, put Adrian please. through that. You put Adrian through all of that. All right. Yeah. So there are four good. teams, four teams still with a shot here. Uh, and well done for checking that out. Them. All right. What what did my team get? Um, let's see. We got um six. All in ten, just to make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not in the basement right now. All right. Uh we love our group. Rob, please redo it. We got ten. Uh -huh. Yeah, wow. Good. Wait, see, one of the things, Rob, with you doing that is my son and I did a like he was quizzing me that about that. And that's how it came out came about. So he asked me what all 17 countries were, and we went through the whole list. So I was actually a little bit helpful. <laughs> oh, nice nice job, helpful. Rob. And so you didn't put down Canada then? No, no we did we not. Uh, yeah. Good. Okay. All right, so we didn't, for the we didn't know said, we didn't know why we were leaving it off. We just that's right. <laughs> there was just <laughs> yes. We all we also opted to take Vatican City off of our list just because we oh. were worried about a technicality. Oh, yeah. okay. So we all went right. with we went with some other stuff that we knew for sure. The, hit, the Hitler Hitler areas Hitler areas group. <laughs> we had yeah. eight because we did include Canada. No, I thought we had nine. <laughs> no, I'm we had nine. Did. We missed one. Canada. And was, we we had Swaziland. Land. It wasn't there. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're right. Okay. All right. So, uh, Khan Yi, old trivia team. Tan. What? Tan. Tan. Oh. Thanks to Caspian. Not enough to catch the lead, yeah. but almost yeah. there. And lastly, yeah. it comes down to there is no sanity clause, which needs seven to tie. Oh, we put San Marino, right? We did. Yeah, 10. Oh, <laughs> oh, there was some drama at the end anyway. There was. Yeah. <laughs> Good game, everybody. That hey, was we, fun. hey, Rob, we were in double figures. Come on. That's yeah. Fun Yay, game. we didn't get last place. Exactly. We didn't get last place. Good hosting, Rob. Thank you. Yeah, well done, yeah. Rob. Yes, Thank, Thank you, Rob. Thank, Thank you for you. not being too hard. Rob. Not too hard on we me. We miss you, Susan. Then, we, yeah, come back. Yeah, Susan, come back, please. Come back. Really want you back. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Oh, I could stop the recording. How do I do that? Stop, stop, stop. What is it? The viewers will never again. know. <laughs>